Hey everybody, it's been a long time. I bet you're all quarantined, just like I am and my family. Uh, hopefully you're getting a lot of stitching in. I, the amount of stitching I'm getting in is uh, not substantially more since all this started. I still have to work and I work from home and actually I'm actually working more probably because I am at home. So I don't have to do the commute into work or the commute home from work, but instead I'm working during that time. And obviously with everything going on, it's been busier at work to uh, compensate and to help out with, um, with what's going on with the virus and everything else. So not a ton of stitching going on, but uh, enough so anyway let me start with a uh, finish and I had another one and I had it FFO'd and for the life of me I cannot find it um, and if my kids put it somewhere I I will not be happy but right now I cannot find it which means I probably have too much stuff so I apologize for that I will at, when I find it, I will show you all. So I'm not sure if I showed this the last time I had a video. Uh, this was Jean Morgan, 1834. It's an exclusive chart. Uh, and through Tomorrow's Heirlooms. And this is it. It's from Neil Work Press. And I finished it. Um, this is 40 count straw. And it's funny because I usually don't stitch on something on uh, fabric this dark for a um, for a sampler, but this is what they suggested, and I thought, why not? I also don't usually stitch with colors as bright as these on a sampler, but I there's something about this sampler that I just had to do. Um, and so this is it. And I think it turned out great. And I'm just surprised that it called to me so much that I just stuck with it. It uh, was a quick stitch and I just, I loved every one. So uh, sad to see this one end. Um, yeah, it was, it was great. So Jean Morgan. And then from a needlepoint perspective, I had turned something in to get finished, oh gosh, before Christmas, uh, November. And I just got it back in March. So here it is. This is Charlie Harper Frog Needlepoint Canvas. And I just love how it got finished. And I'm just gonna turn it all the way around so you can see little cattails and all the things. So I bought this canvas at Three Kittens. They actually had a class. They also included a stitch guide and the threads in there. I'm gonna hold it up really close. And these, these are all beads that I attached up here. Um, and then what happens is you turn this in to the shop and then they turn it into this. So I love it. Um, I really love how that turned out. But again, this is the Charlie Harper frog um, from the Three Kittens shop in Mendota Heights here in Minnesota. So I loved how that turned out. So from a whips perspective, um, I've started a few things which I wasn't going to do. I really want to focus on um, my advent calendar, which is a needlepoint canvas, but I did start a couple things. So one of the things is MSD. Uh, I don't know if there's a year, hang on. MSD 1735, it's called a Nuremberg sampler from the Exemplar. 
And actually I saw Reese had this on her video finished and I just thought it was stunning. So I ordered this um, and you have to direct, there are a few shops that carry these patterns, but um, I ordered directly from her the, uh, and she is in Canada. And I am doing it out of silks. And this fabric is light hazelnut from XU Des Designs out of um, Europe, Hungary, I think specifically. And this is how far I am. So this is a half a yard piece of fabric. You can tell, so I've almost made it, it so it's not gonna quite use the width of this so it's going to be about like like this from a length perspective and this is about halfway up so um it's going to be uh about up to here <laughs> so it is going to be quite large but here i'll show it up close again but this is how far i got and believe me, I counted all those flower motifs at the bottom many, many times to make sure that I counted them right. Um, but now I'm gonna go across this way just to make sure width-wise that I did count correctly. So that is, again, the MSD 1735 Nuremberg Sampler. Isn't that amazing? And these are actually Bargello stitches, so there are some specialty stitches, but it's not bad at all. But I mean, look at that rooster right there. Look at that peacock right there. Um, I, I just, I love it. So I had to start that right away. And then, you know, I love this color fabric so much, I actually ordered another half yard of this. Um, Kitten Stitcher has this on her website, as well as Victorian, I think, they do as well. Um, so that is that. I was also inspired by Michelle Rudy and um, I was also in, hang on, thread and needles everywhere. I was also inspired by Michelle Rudy and her finish um, of the Winter Rose Manor by Brenda Gervais. So I think she taught this as a class um, somewhere. And when we went to the Midwest Cross Stitchers Retreat, Brenda brought this for us to purchase. So this is the chart. And you know, so I usually, like I said, for samplers, I usually stitch on the light hazelnut, but these colors with the house and the snow down here, they were gonna blend right in. So I picked kind of a different color and plus, I wanted to really use something out of my stash. Um, with being on lockdown and just having way too much stash, I wanted to get something out of my stash. So this is 40 count beige gray. Uh, this is also from XU Designs. And so here, I'll pull it back. So this is as far as I've got. These are those colors that I was worried about. With this light, it kind of looks like it's blending in, um, but I, I think it'll work. Uh, it gives it a little bit more maybe of a winter look. I don't know. I don't know, but I love this color fabric. So we'll see. We'll see if it works out. I hope it does. And then the, the thing that I'm really trying to focus on, but I, I have to admit it's, it's getting pretty hard, um, mostly because it's a lot of the same color, color scheme. Um, 
so I'm kind of I'm struggling a little bit with it uh, right now it's in a section those stitches aren't that great it's a lot of 10 stitches um, so I don't know so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stitch a length of thread every day because uh, that's what I'll take to get done and so this is my needlepoint canvas so what I'm gonna do because in cross stitch you I don't know it's almost taboo to do, do this but I'm gonna show you the back because when I show you the back first, you will be able to see what I've finished in stitching, and so when I flip it to the front, you will know where to look, okay? So actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you the front first so you can get a general idea of what it looks like. So this is an advent calendar. Can you see the whole thing? The advent calendar, and so on here, I have each of these individual pieces that will be, when this is framed, there's going to be a metal sheet that goes on the back of this. And um, I'm gonna, I usually frame things with glass. This is obviously gonna be without glass. I'm planning to stick it on an easel. Uh, and then the pieces, they're going to be made into tiny little, um, I don't know, little ornaments, if you will, without the little hook on the top. And, uh, they're you know they can just go on each of these numbers and then there's a mat big one that goes in front of the door um but this is a kirk and bradley canvas so i'm going to do what i said i was going to do and i'm going to turn this to the back so you can see what i stitched um so you know where to look so as you can see so this is all painted but as you can see here this is i've pretty much stitched down to this and i've started working on the trellis here and this is the background. So I'm gonna flip it back over. And I apologize, I'm gonna turn this upside down so you can, it's, it's a mammoth. This, uh, it's on a 26 by 20 frame, if that tells you how big it is. Um, so this is the part that I'm dreading. So if I pull it back again, see how much I have to do? I have to go all the way around this sucker. And there I am. <laughs> so I got a long ways to go. Um, I don't know the it, it's beautiful once it's done like every piece but it's a lot of beige neutrals grays this um it, it it's getting a little old um but anyway here's kind of a closer up look there are some cross stitches in here um, I've actually finished the complete background in here. I still have this to do, and then I'm working my way down here, and obviously I'll just um, go this way. So. And it was kind of interesting because um, right here, this 15 right here, it was missing the one. Uh, the one wasn't painted like it's painted over here for the 12 so I had to take some thread and kind of look at how this was painted and stitch it with the thread so you could actually see it it's kind of funny because this canvas obviously because of the size these are all hand painted and so they're expensive and for that to have that kind of error so canvases do come with errors um, but for such a expensive canvas, um, it's hard to take little mistakes like that, but at least it was easily fixable. And I consider myself a needlepoint novice, so um, the thought of either painting it or figuring out how to fix it was, it wasn't daunting because I knew what I was gonna do, but it can be, so I'm glad that this was a easy fix. So anyway, that is that. So that's kind of what I've been working on. Um, from a haul perspective, so obviously we uh, just had Nashville and I'm so grateful to all the shops and designers um, and all the work that they put in to uh, get us all the stuff. And I'm also grateful that it was still an event that took place versus all the events now that are getting canceled. Um, and actually, I'm going to show you this needle minder before I get to my haul. This is kind of haul, I guess, if you... Um, I didn't do put on a Christmas needle minder for this, and maybe I should have. But anyway, uh, 
I'm sorry I can't hold it in such a way, but it turns, like this turns. Isn't that cool? Um, it's actually this back piece that's supposed to turn, but I can't hold it like that. Uh, isn't that neat? So, I think I got this from Top Knot Stitcher, maybe? All right. So from a haul perspective, I'm gonna show you what I got. And ignore the bag. Uh, that was my needlework bag. Um, now I'll go through these fast. I mean, I know all of you have seen what these patterns look like. Uh, so I won't spend much time, you know, I guess holding them up. Uh, so I had to laugh when I saw this because it reminds me of the advent calendar that I just showed you and this is Little House Needleworks Kringles. Um, doesn't it look like my <laughs> advent calendar? So it's almost like a comic relief to stitch this to. I also got the called for fabric. Um, I didn't realize that the Parisian gray was as gray as it was like this doesn't look that gray um, but I don't know what else I would use this fabric for so I'm just going to use it for this and I also got all the the thread packs for it um, so uh, so those are those so that's that a, um, a couple non, so I'm going to just sneak in a couple non purchases, non uh, Nashville purchases too. I saw this on Stash Unload. Polly Mumford from The Good Huswife. And then Farmer Frog from Pollywog Designs. I just thought he was cute. Look at that. He'll stitch up quick in no time. And I love all that variegation in him. He's just amazing. And then I got the Elizabeth Murrah sampler off of eBay. Um, I just love that. So this was through the EGA Guild, I believe. Yep, EGA. They must have done a class. And I just, when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I love that sampler. So I had to grab that off of eBay. Now back to the Nashville programming. I got the Parkit Round Snowman. Um, the flag from Bent Creek. And I actually got this from the Neil Ort. So also before we were hit with the coronavirus, um, the family and I went down to Disney World for spring break. And so when I was in Orlando, I got to visit a couple shops. So I was, I always try to I, I just, I don't know. I want to see other shops when I'm traveling. So I went to the Needle Ort. Oh, wow. Fantastic store. Very nice people there. And I got the Pumpkin King Nutcracker from Satsuma Street. Uh, this is Lindy Stitches, The Strutting Tom. This was a full kit. I love turkeys. I don't think I have enough turkey patterns in my life. So I had to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I did get the book, His Eye on the Sparrow. Mm. And, you know, I do have this pattern. But, you know, once they say it's uh, in a limited edition book form or something like that, or even book form or an nanny form, oh. I had to get it. So, that. And there's more coming, so, um, you know, don't think this is it. I also got these sets of pins. Aren't these cute? Oh. I love that. These are from Poutini Poutini. And then, like others, I got the Blackbird, Blackbird Designs, My Heart Can Rest. Sewing Club. Uh, we Live in Hope. Yeah, I love the smell of them books. Just love it. Bookstores love the smell of bookstores. Little Birds. 
Um, and then I got from Lila's studio, Janet Robertson. I love these birds down here. That's why I got it. Uh, I also got the Shakespeare's Peddler Antique Birds in Cages. I just thought this was so cute. Um, I also got this um, needle minder, Decide, Commit, Succeed. Put your mind to something and just do it. And you know, I usually don't do something so nature-esque like this, but I it just called to me. The visitor from the Blackberry Rabbit. And then I haven't seen too many people with this. So I it's called the Amp Amp. Let me start over. The Alphabet Sampler Palette from Old Colonial Design. So I'll pause on this one just a little bit longer because I haven't seen many people that got this. So if I'm the only one that likes it, okay. <laughs> but um, I just love this one. And then, of course, the horn book. Yeah, I just really liked it. So I got that one. I uh, haven't seen too many of these either. Uh, Janie Tippett, 1893, from the Fox and Rabbit Designs. Again, it, I have, it's something with the peacocks. I'm in love with peacocks, I guess. Okay. Uh, Maria Finney, 1832, Adam and Eve's House from the Shakespeare's Peddler. I have been waiting for this to come out. Uh, I just missed the signups through the country sampler for this like i think i got the next ones but they were sold out and i was so bummed out um so i was thrilled when she released this one so it's all i can do not to start this um and then i haven't seen too many people get this too and i just thought it was really sweet uh, i don't have um i don't think i've ever stitched one of sissy's uh, patterns before so this is fr so Sissy is uh, Sissy Bailey Smith is the name of the designer um, and she is under the gentle pursuit designs but this is called floral sewing case and I don't know if I'll actually make it into a case but I just I love the simplicity of this so with that I think that was my haul which was a lot and like I said there's still more coming um just waiting as patiently as I can for it um but anyway that's what I have for you I'm gonna continue with the whips and the um advent calendar that I showed you again I'm just I'm gonna stitch a length of thread at a time and it'll get done right uh <laughs> it's gotta get done um, I don't know. I might move to other parts of this advent calendar, like the windows and so forth, just for a little... I've been trying to do that to get a little bit more variety in the piece and then go back to the monotony of stitching the border. So, um, at any rate, I hope you are all staying well and stitching at home and, you know, enjoying the tranquility of stitching. So, anyway... Take care and we will talk soon. Bye.